tell us a little bit about yourself. What is your background? Uh, how did where where do you come into this field? Sure. My background is I'm a professional accountant. I call myself an academic practitioner because I spent half my life actually working in the in the business world, uh, and then the other half of my career is uh, focused on developing uh, learning programs for aspiring senior financial uh, professionals. Uh, I've taught accounting in the uh, professional program and undergrad programs for a, uh, a couple of decades. Uh, I've done instructional design projects for the consulting and the professional practices of the big four firms. Uh, for the past year or so, I've been uh, the lead instructional designer for the uh, Chartered Professional Accountants of Canada, redesigning their candidate certification program. All righty. Well, let's jump right in here. Um, Blair, give us a little bit background or what is an instructional designer? And an instructional designer is someone who organizes that learning to improve its impact. And uh, think of developing a course much as uh, Hollywood develops a movie, of course, on a lower budget. Uh, Hollywood starts with a screenplay, which you can liken to a uh, subject matter that would be of interest to our learner. You know, actors in a movie are like teachers, instructors, or professors that deliver the content to learners. And uh, programmers will code the content much in the same way that a, uh, a technical editor will um, uh, finalize a movie. And uh, But you really need to have someone kind of on top of all this. And in the movies, we have a director. In course development, this really falls to the instructional designer. All right. Thank you very much. Um, if I was looking for an instructional designer, how would I go about doing that? Well, the, the world is full of educators, uh, teachers, professors, and the like. Uh, but these are primarily people who deliver content. And they aren't necessarily the same thing as an instructional designer. Uh, but I would suggest that every instructional designer should have some classroom experience. You know, Clint Eastwood's not only a great actor, but... It, uh, He's also a great director, and I'm sure that's not coincidental. Uh, to start for the search for uh, an instructional designer, I, I would say just use a search engine. Uh, narrow your search to uh, those who may specialize in your, your area of interest. Uh, you can also reach out to educators at your local colleges and universities. Uh, and then when you find uh, you identify a few of these uh, folks, you know, contact them and discuss your project with them and get their uh, their ideas. And you'll get a you'll get a plethora of uh, different ideas by talking to these folks. Once you identify someone you want to work with, then you should probably do some due diligence on the designer, and uh, then you're ready to go. Uh, the only thing I suggest to folks is you know keep in mind that uh, just because someone has experience in education doesn't make them an instructional designer, uh, nor does someone who just codes uh, e-learning courses. You know, programmers are notoriously bad at designing effective learning. It's a different skill set. It's a rather unique skill set. And uh, and and when you when you when you go to someone who doesn't have this experience, you'll often wonder afterwards why your course kind of came out feeling flat or it didn't achieve the learning objectives. Uh, so that's that's those are the things you should be thinking about uh, as you're as you're trying to find an instructional designer. Okay, great. That kind of leads in to what you somewhat already answered. But how do I tell if an instructional designer is good? What do I look for? Qualifications, background, experience. Yeah, absolutely. Look at their background in instructional design. You, you don't necessarily need to specialize in the in the subject matter, though that helps. But uh, for instance, I specialize in uh, finance, but I've developed all sorts of uh, business-related courses. Uh, what you're looking for really is a, a deep generalist, someone who can understand the subject matter well enough to be uh, to to develop something that would be uh, resonate with the with the learners. So look at a sample of the uh, designer's prior work. It doesn't really matter what. But you're going to ask yourself, uh, was it professional? Uh, was it engaging? Was it interactive? Was it creative enough to capture the, uh, the attention, the mind of the, uh, the, of the learner? You know, you'll also want to have discussions around the types of tools that they're going to use for the development of the course. You know, if it's e-learning, we're going to be talking about uh, the types of uh, learning management systems that they have in mind, the types of programming uh, that they are, are considering, the use of multimedia, uh, the storyboarding tools and, and how that process will work. Okay, outstanding. So if someone wanted to get a hold of you, they could go to your website. Any closing comments? Any last words? Uh, sure. Uh, you know, an, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure in, in so many regards, and that applies to instructional design as well. You know, I, I encourage people to avoid the temptation to dive right into developing a course. Uh, planning is crucial. You know, talking to the designers will give you uh, an independent way of thinking about presenting your subject matter. Uh, there are lots of different tools and presentation uh, technologies that are out there today. And so you may not be familiar with these, but instructional designers uh, will be.